Hello, and welcome to Chapter 1 of Love Handles. Chapter 1 The Sleepover The annual Super Smash Bros. Ball was fast approaching. This year was perhaps the most exciting year yet. What with the influx of female residents within the Smash Manor, eager male Smashers were practically scrambling over one another in their haste to ask their lady of choice to accompany them. Some made an extravagant show of asking. Uh, hey there, Princess Peach. I was thinking, since you're right here in my dungeon and all, that we'd just go to the ball together. While others were lower key. Princess Peach, let's go to the ball. Ha-hoo. It was an exciting time had by all. With just three more days to go until the ball, Princess Peach decided to throw a huge sleepover in one of the mansion's common rooms. Girls only. The top priority tonight, besides building a Ford Utopia, would be talking about who had asked them to the ball, and how. But there was one female smasher who did not yet have a date. We Fit Trainer. The other ladies chatted away about whom they were going with, and as each revealed their date, We Fit Trainer began to feel self-conscious. Why has no one asked me? Is it the soulless mannequin stare? Or perhaps the fact that I cannot go two minutes without spouting a fitness fact? Is there something wrong with me? Really? I'm glad Mario didn't make a big deal out of it when he asked me. He's never been much for the dramatic. What about you, Zelda? Link is so lazy. I doubt he did anything over the top. I'm not going with Link. He couldn't get his crap together and ask me, so I'm going with someone else. <gasps> who? You'll see. Oh, Rosa, who are you going with? Well, initially, I asked Waluigi, but he ran away screaming, Whoa! <sighs> so I'm going with Luigi instead. As friends, of course. <laughs> Since he has Daisy. We Fit Trainer flinched upon hearing the sacred "wah" uttered aloud. It had always caused her heart to skip a beat. She barely heard the continuing conversation. Let's see. Lucina is going with Shulk, Bayonetta with Pit, Palutena with Cloud, Robin with Crumb. Samus? I'm going with Captain Falcon. Wonderful! You make such a good couple. Oh! And sweet little villager has gotten Ness to go with her. Only because I threatened him. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. And Jigglypuff, of course, is going with Kirby. Bitch, please! I'm so over that pink marshmallow. His brain is as big as my thumb. What thumb? I'm going with Pikachu and Charizard as friends. You can always attend with my group if you don't have a date. I have a date. It's Meta Knight. He's so edgy and mysterious. Have you heard his voice? And that mask. He's the sexiest marshmallow there ever. We fit trainer. Huh? You haven't told us who your date is. Oh, I don't have one yet. <gasps> Ooh, lucky you. There are still so many guys without a date. They're going to be clamoring over one another to get to you. <laughs> we Fit Trainer's heart felt heavy. There was only one man she wanted clambering towards her. Her face turned bright red at the thought. That did not go unnoticed by Princess Zelda. Did you have someone in mind? No, no, no. Ooh, she totally does. Who is it? For you? I? Is it Roy? Link? Little Mac, Corrin, now he's a catch. We Fit Trainer just shook her head, avoiding everyone's gaze as they named all the most eligible bachelors in the mansion. When they had run through the list twice, some of the ladies began to look concerned. Not Olima, <gasps> Bowser. Um, Bowser is off limits, so you better not. N- no, no. It's none of those. King DDD? Did he seduce you? No, why? Did he seduce you? Oh, that's up already. It's obvious you like someone. Just tell us who it is. I 
can't. Just keep guessing. I'll tell you if you get it right. So the ladies went back through the list, including some of the more unconventional smashers this time around. She couldn't help but feel a little insulted when they guessed Lucas, like she was some kind of cougar. She grimaced when they said Donkey Kong's name too. Go to the ball with that big hairy ape. Well, okay. That was kind of mean. His smile was a plus. Well, that's everyone. We went through all of the boys twice. You skipped one. No, I went through everyone. I. No. What? What is it? One by one, it seemed to dawn on the other girls. They just goggled at Wee Fit Trainer, as though they could hardly believe it. Except Jigglypuff. Who still looked out of the loop and frustrated. Because he wasn't even an option. Because he was the last one anyone would ever expect We Fit Trainer to have feelings for. Yes, it's. Don't say his name! Wario. There was no going back now.